different canonical forms. So, in this lecture I will be covering what is a standard uh, sum of products and what is uh, product of sums and standard product of sums and how to convert between the standard sum of products and uh, standard product of sums. So, all the Boolean expressions regardless of their form can be converted into either two standard forms. One is the sum of product forms that is SOP, the second one is product of sum forms that is POS. So, how to express a given function in POS or SOP form? So, the sum of products which is nothing but ORing of all ANDs that is nothing but summing all the products together that will give the SOP form nothing but sum of products. Now, product of sums says that adding all the ORs nothing but all the sum terms are product together to give a POS form. Now, let us proceed uh, further into what is sum of products and what is product of sums. Now, the sum of products when two or more product terms are summed by Boolean addition, the resulting expression is the sum of products. For example, a b plus a b c or a b c plus c bar d e plus b bar c d e or a b plus b c d plus a c. These are all the examples of SOP form and also an SOP expression can contain a single variable term as in like a plus a b c bar plus b c d bar. So, finally, in an SOP expression a single over bar cannot extend over more than one variable that uh, means says that each and every variable either it should be in the complemented format or uncomplemented format. The interesting uh, thing here is in sum of products the normal variable will be taking the value of 1 and a complemented variable will be taking a value of 0. The standard sum of products. So, SOP expression in which sum of the product terms does not contain all of the variables in the domain of the expression. So, in the standard sum of products uh, what we have is we have each and every term contains all the three variables. Now, if you see the SOP form here the first term has three variables, second term has three variables and the third term has four variables. But the standard form says that each and every term need to have all the four variables as a domain made up of the variables a, b, c, d. However, notice that the complete set of variables in the domain is not represented in the first two terms of expression that is d is missing from the first term and c is missing from the second term. So, the standard SOP expression is one in which all the variables in the domain appears in each product term in the expression. For example, a bar b c d bar plus a b c bar d. So, now each and every term contains all the four variables either in the complemented or uncomplemented format. So, it is called as standard sum of products. Now, the term which contains all the variables either in the complemented or uncomplemented format that is called as a min term. So, a product term in which all variables appear once either complemented or uncomplemented format that is called as a min term. Each min term evaluates to 1 for exactly one variable assigned 0 for all others denoted by m x where x correspond to the variables assigned for which m x is equals to 1. Now, if you see here as I said in the starting like normal variable will be taking the value of 1 and uh, complemented variable will be taking a value of 0 for your min terms. Now, 0 0 0 represents a bar b bar and c bar which is equals to m naught. Likewise, check for 0 0 1 which is m 1 min term where 0 refers to a bar again 0 refers to b bar and 1 refers to c. So, normal variable is taking the value of 1 and complemented variable is taking the value of 0 and 0 1 0 that is m 2 a bar b c bar 0 1 1 m 3 that is a bar b c 1 0 0 that is m 4 a 
b bar c bar 101 m5 that is a b bar c 110 that is m6 a b c bar 111 that is m7 a b c now min terms to describe a function so whenever i have the min terms i can form it into a truth table so now i am writing 0 to 7 all the terms a function which is expressed having the ones f f is a function 1 2 3 4 5 min terms are there wherever the min terms we have that is represented with 1 the remaining are represented with zeros so this is how i will be representing a function so now the first one represents a bar b bar c bar which is nothing but a bar b bar c bar for first one and 0 0 1 for second 0 1 0 is nothing but a bar b c bar that is a third term next 1 double 0 that is a b bar c bar which is represented here and next one is 1 0 1 that is a b bar c which is represented as the fifth term now for the complemented you'll be having f bar the remaining terms min term with an example so what i have said here is as i have given a function that i have expressed as ones that is given as m0 plus m1 plus m2 plus m4 and m5 that i am expressing so very simple whatever the function outputs wherever you are having ones the concerned terms will form into a standard sop form that concerned term can be expressed in the term, in the form of your min terms with m0 m1 and so on and as they are summed together we are giving with the value of sigma small m 0 comma 1 comma 2 comma 4 comma 5 for the above given function now min terms as a circuit implementation so what are the function you have that it is very easy to implement using a uh, logic gates so this example will cover uh, cover after uh, uh, seeing the logic gates the product of sums uh, means <coughs> the sum terms which are defined before as a term consisting of sum of literals when two or more sum terms are multiplied the resulting expression is a product of sums here the product of sums is very simply that sum terms are made are made into a product means are multiplied to form a pwise form so pwise expression can contain a single variable term also that is a into a plus b plus c into b plus c plus d c d is an example for your pwise form so in a pwise expression a single over bar cannot extend over more than one variable however more than one variable in a term can have an over bar so this is almost uh, equals to that of your uh, sop form means each and every variable need to have its own complement so a pwise expression can have a term a bar b bar c bar but not a plus b plus c whole bar now <clears throat> the implementation of pwise expression simply requires adding the outputs of two or more or gates a sum term is produced by a or operation and a product of two or more sum terms to produce an on operation the standard pwise form so as explained about the standard sop in the standard pwis also each and every term need to contain all the variables of the given function in the complemented or uncomplemented format so in the given example the first two terms contains only three variables whereas the last term contains the four variables so to convert to a standard pwis form the first two terms also need to have the fourth variable in the first term the d is missing in the second term the c is missing a standard pwise expression is one of which all the variables in the domain appears in each sum term in the expression for example now if you see here each and every term is having four variables now i can say that the given expression is in the standard pwise form so here each and every term is called as a max term and normal variable will be taking the value of 0 and a complemented variable will be taking the value of 1 now the max terms representation in a tabular column 
a sum term in which all variables appear once either complemented or uncomplemented format that is called as a max term each max term evaluates to zero for exactly one variable assigned to assignment one for all others denoted by mx where x is the corresponding to the variable assignment for which mx is equals to zero so here i am showing the different notations for your 3 bit message or 3 bit variable that is uh, abc and the max terms are shown on the right hand side and the notation for max max term is capital m max term description as a function now considering the truth table the function outputs are 1 1 1 0 double 0 sorry double 1 double 0 wherever the whenever you want to express a function in terms of your POS form then at the output consider only the zeros the zero uh, whatever the concern number you are having let us take this zero zero double one is a concern number so the term is a plus b bar plus c bar i'm writing here into next term is a a bar plus b bar plus c and third term is a bar plus b bar plus c bar so first term into second term into third term which is forcing to zero so max term example one more example we are writing here the same example whatever the zeros you are having three zeros i'm expressing in terms of your uh, max terms and as it is a product of terms i am writing it as pi capital m of the concerned terms now converting from sop to pos form so standard sum of products to pos form it is very simple based on uh, the distribution property the distribution property says that multiplication over addition uh, that will give a pos to sop whereas addition over multiplication uh, property of distribution that if you apply for an sop that will result in the uh, pos form now considering this example f is equals to y bar z bar plus x y bar z plus x y z bar that if i want to simplify simply apply the distribution property of addition over multiplication like a plus b c is equals to a b a plus b into a plus c by applying that distributive property of addition over multiplication after a lot of simplification finally you will be getting y bar plus z bar into x y bar plus x into z bar this is how we will be converting the sop to pos and converting pos to uh, sop it is very simple again by using the distributive property simply multiply the terms and uh, uh, minimize the terms which are repeated then you will be getting a final result which will be in the sop form thank you for more videos subscribe to our channel thank you once again